Hi, today all day. We've got a great show for you on this Friday morning. Let's kick it off with Pop Star. Dylan shares the latest pop culture news we all need to know. Take a look. The first trailer is out for Ryan Murphy's latest series, Impeachment, American Crime Story. The show centers around the impeachment proceedings of former President Bill Clinton and his affair with former White House intern Monica Lewinsky. Lewinsky, played by actress Beanie Feldstein in the series, also serves as a producer on the project. Here's a peek at the trailer. There's a woman I'm very close to. In the midst of an affair with the President of the United States. William Jefferson Clinton, do you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Did you notice that all-star cast, along with Feldstein as Lewinsky, Clive Owens, Edie Falco, take on the roles of Bill and Hillary Clinton, and Sarah Paulson, you might not have recognized her, but she totally steps into the shoes of Linda Tripp. She manages to transform into whoever she's uh, acting. Uh, and impeachment premieres September 7th on FX. Jimmy Fallon celebrated his 1500th show, and wow. what a better way to mark the big occasion than with one of his most iconic segments, Thank You Notes. Of course. Thank you. Vaccine cards? Sure, you might be an irreplaceable document that I have to carry around everywhere, but at least you're made of flimsy paper and don't fit in my wallet. Thank you. Traveling summer carnivals? Nothing relaxes me on a rusty, wobbly ride like the knowledge that you guys can skip town as quickly as possible. Thank you. Sharks? For not going by your original name, Murder Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next on Today Talks, Dylan shares an incredible story you don't want to miss. Stay with us. Welcome back. Today on the third hour, Dylan spotlights a doctor and his patient who are about to go on a race of a lifetime in a new episode of our Upside series. Check it out. We're back with our series, The Upside, and one man pushing himself to new heights, literally, against incredible odds. It's a remarkable story. Two years ago, John Hoffman was in grave condition, not expected to live much longer without a lung transplant. Well, today he is enjoying his second chance at life and teaming up with the doctor who gave it to him. Made it. The summit of Half Dome. When 39-year-old father of two, John Hoffman, stood atop Yosemite National Park's famed Half Dome this April, the journey was much more than a climb. It's been, I would say, a, a long, steep, tough road. John was born with cystic fibrosis, a progressive genetic disease that causes frequent lung infections and breathing difficulties. He grew up loving the outdoors, but as time went on, they became much harder to enjoy. I was always pretty tired. It was a lot of coughing, I would avoid stairs. Going across the house would wind me. If I needed to leave the house, I was always, you know, trying to bring oxygen with me. It got pretty bad. Bad enough that by fall of 2019, he desperately needed a double lung transplant. Dr. Chad Denlinger was John's surgeon. What would his prognosis have been if he didn't get this transplant? John's lung function was about 20% normal. He was on continuous oxygen, and he was just fighting infection after infection after infection. With his expected survival might be a year or two. Wow. In October that year, John finally got a new set of lungs at the Medical University of South Carolina, remarkably after waiting only two weeks. He pushed his recovery just as fast. I saw progress, you know, every day, every week, every month and um, just, just continued it. You know, I didn't let it plateau. Now that you have two new lungs in your body, how are you feeling? I feel great. Um, this time last week, I was hiking in the Tetons, just doing all the things that I missed out on the last few years. Mm -hmm. I mean, most people, you think you get two new lungs, you, you start with a little jog around the corner. <laughs> Which brings us back to the top of Half Dome. A year and a half after lung transplant, I freaking made it. Down at the bottom, his wife snapped a picture. That tiny dot with arms raised is John. She sent it to Dr. Denlinger, who, like John, is an outdoor enthusiast. When he saw it, he ordered up a unique prescription. 
clearly John is an outdoors type of person. He's in great shape. So I thought it would be a tremendous amount of fun and a great honor to have John join us uh, for the race this weekend. That race is the AR Georgia Hogback, a 24 hour adventure race where teams navigate the wilderness by bike, boat and on foot. And Dr. Denlinger wanted a teammate with a good set of lungs. So I'd imagine that's a, a good sign when your doctor thinks you're good enough shape to be able to do something like this. Absolutely. I was I was completely thrown back that this is going to be a push and I'm, I was very excited about it and I'm excited and nervous about it now. If you are nervous, I guess the best teammate to have is your doctor. <laughs> Absolutely. Doctor, what does it mean for you to have John on your team? I mean, this this must be just an incredible full circle moment. No, you're absolutely right. This this is a uh, chance of a lifetime. What does it mean for your boys now to, to have their dad back and see him participating in, in something like this? They must just feel like you are Superman. Yeah, they. I mean, they really do love it. it it's a it's a very humbling experience, and um, to see them get excited for things that I do, it means a whole lot to me. Love every bit of it. Absolutely. Yeah. So I asked the doctor, I was a little concerned. I'm like, can you overuse new transplanted yeah. lungs? And the doctor said um, that he is not worried that he is pushing John too hard. In fact, this is actually going to make his lungs even stronger and better. Uh, so that AR Georgia Hogback Adventure Race, it starts tomorrow. And, of course, we will be cheering them on as they tackle this huge challenge. Yes, we will. Coming up on Hoda and Jenna, it's always a blast when Willie drops by, plus a cool school edition of one of our favorites, Donna Rama. Welcome back. Today on Hoda and Jenna, it's Friday the 13th, and Willie and I are talking superstition. Friday the 13th gives people the... Oh, see, they even play the music, right? Gosh. It makes people a little scared around here, sure. even though 13 is my lucky number. Well, you've got two babies two on the 13th. Two babies born on the 13th. Yeah, that's a good day. But according to a 2020 Gallup poll, about 25% of Americans say they are somewhat superstitious. That's low, I would think. Yeah, 25, are, one in four. Aren't more people superstitious? I, I don't know. Not. Are you? Um, I'm not super superstitious. Um, I had to ask my wife if I have any superstitions. As you know, Christina, I'm like... Wait, I wish y'all heard Willie's meeting that we had. <laughs> Willie was like, am I superstitious? Hey, Christina, do I have any superstitions? She's like, uh, yes, you do. It was, a w it was a window into our lives. Yes. And I asked her things about me, and she, of course, <laughs> knows them all. The only The one she came up with, which is true, is... If something goes well, let's say Vanderbilt, where I went to school, yes. won a football game, yes. I have to wear the same T-shirt and sit in the same place in the couch for the next game. Or if the Yankees have a big playoff game, same place, same T-shirt. Now, that can get old if your Derek Jeter shirt is 25 years old and has a bunch of holes in it. So it's not her favorite superstition. Wait, is but that something you've done since you were a little kid? Uh, no, it's a recent adult thing, which makes it worse, I think. And also, do you have this? Because I have a friend who really likes the Patriots. Uh -huh. And because he didn't watch, like, they were in the Super Bowl. You yes. know, they've been in the Super Bowl. This because he didn't watch it with, like, yes. us, he wouldn't come to the Super Bowl party. Right. You have to watch it with the same group of well, people? My dad has that, too. So my dad went to the University of Illinois, and he's convinced when he watches, they lose. So I'll be like, are you watching? He's like, no, I'm not watching. I can't watch the big final four game. How could I? They're going to lose if I watch. So I think it's all sports related. What about you? Do you have superstitions? I mean, sometimes I don't like, and my, this comes from my mom. I remember in the meeting, they were like, what did your parents put on you? And that she didn't put this on me. But my mom used to, like, sometimes my dad would say something, and she'd say, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Yep. Which sounds like a that's Texas more of a thing life philosophy. Yeah, it's like yeah. you don't want to. But I, that's yeah. my life philosophy. If I ever say something that could happen, right? It's like I'm you're like, jinxing why it. Why am something. I saying that? And then I sometimes just knock. Yes, I on knock wood. on wood. I knock on wood. And sometimes if I don't have wood, I just knock on wood. Whatever's there. Yeah. Yeah. Metal. Yeah. So it's not really clear why Friday and thirteen became associated with bad luck. Inspired books, movies. Today, a lot of hotels, you probably notice, yeah. or buildings don't have a 13th floor. Airlines sometimes skip the 13th row. So it's definitely yeah. a thing. Okay, I don't think you've seen this. No, and so you do a lot of, like, political stuff and kind of, like, 
newsy things. Well, around here, we talk about these kind of viral moments. Yes. Like, imagine your terror if you saw your child oh. just interrupt something like that. In a professional soccer game. It would be, it would be bad. Has that ever happened to you, we, where your um, child went rogue? We had, yes, at my sister and brother, Christina's sister, at their wedding, our son George was a little guy back then, and he took off down the aisle. Did he have down, a role? Down the middle. Did he have a role? He had a role, but not at that moment. Okay. He thought it was always his moment. Yeah. He ran down the aisle, high-fived the groom during the vows, and then ran back to his seat. But you Which know I thought was a nice thing. I right? was going to say, yeah. that was the moment that everybody remembered. Memorable. What about you? You've got three to chase around. I mean, they run everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I, there's nothing that dramatic, but yes, they like to run, and I like to chase and after them. And you chase. Yeah, yeah, that's what moms do. That's what we do. They, we look hazard. Yeah. Okay, Willie, your Sunday sit-downs are always a weekend highlight. So you interviewed one of our favorites this week, Jane, Jane Krakowski. Krakowski. I love her. Isn't she the best? Yes. She's so funny, and she's such a good actor and all those things, but she's just a great person to hang out with, you know? So hang? We hang, yeah. We were, we were hanging out at the, this beautiful rooftop bar here in New York City. She's got a lot going on, a couple of shows on Apple TV+. Plus. Dickinson, uh, she plays the mother of oh, Emily she's Dickinson. on that show? I didn't she's know that. She's Emily Dickinson's mom. With Haley, yeah, whatever. Steinfeld. Yeah, Steinfeld, yeah. And she, on the series Schmigadoon, which, like, steps into the world of old-timey musicals. So here we are talking about her Broadway career. You may not know, she also won a Tony on Broadway. From the time I was in a crib, I was backstage at this community theater. And I've had many of those shows I've come to be in on Broadway. And those moments are the moments where I think, wow, how did this even happen? Like, how did I see my dad, you know, and my mom be in a show in community theater, and now I'm opening it on Broadway. And I, those, those days are never lost on me. So Jane's parents were very involved in New Jersey in community theater, and they used to take her backstage in a crib when she was a little girl. And then all of a sudden, here she is on Broadway winning a Tony. So you'll see our full conversation Sunday right here on NBC. I can't wait to watch that. I'm going to steal the flicker She's from the my best. children. Sunday cartoons, <laughs> no more. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can watch Sunday Today with Willie Geist at 8 a.m. Eastern Time right here again on NBC. Time for our weekly Friday fun, another round of Donna Rama. I get so excited about right? Donna Rama. Donna, let's get started. I love when you hype me up. Thanks, Billy. Okay, hi, everyone. If you're wondering why you're sitting in these classroom chairs mm -hmm. and desks, well, schools are beginning to open up across the country. So, for today's Donna Rama, we are bringing back Cool School. And this one is extra special because Jenna and Willie, you'll be playing against our lovely production assistants, Mariah and Sydney. We love, we love. you, but we're sorry. Yeah. We're going to win, okay? Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of competition going on already. <laughs> okay, but before I begin, I want to introduce you to the viewer at home you're all playing for. So, first up, on Team Willie and Jenna, we have... Natalie Aquadro from Northampton, right. Massachusetts. And, and on team production assistants, we have Sharon Johnson from Helena, Alabama. Okay, as a reminder, the winner will get to hold on to this coveted Donnarumma tiara, which I know you're all desperate for. Yes. So here's how the game works. We want to know who knows more about the other team's generation. So it's going to be old school questions and new school questions. Can you guess who's, who's who? Are we the old people? We're the old school. I yes, so they'll, be get, they'll get tested on old school questions. You'll get tested on new school. Okay, okay let's okay. go. So let's start. First up, team production assistants, Sydney and Brian. Here we go. J-Lo and Ben Affleck recently made their relationship official. What movie did they first star in together? Made in Manhattan, Geely, or An Unfinished Life? Made in Manhattan. No, no. Is no. that your final answer? You work no. together. Sorry. Made in Manhattan. I know who was in that. No, um, it was Ben it Affleck was, is in that. Right. So, B. Is that B. your final answer? Yes. 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 You are correct. Yes. 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 Thought we had. Yes. Yes. Let's work off together. We that had came out in 2003. Okay. <laughs> okay. Willie and Jenna, you are working together okay. as well. Let's go. Make it this time. <laughs> Just okay. what you thought. Olivia Rodrigo oh, yes. has set records with her new album, Sour. But what TV show does she currently star on? Olivia Daisy, mm -hmm. High School Musical, The Musical, yeah. The Series, or Sydney to the Max? The answer is B, High School Musical. You the are musical. correct. Yes. Yes. See what you did you. there. <laughs> See, Jenna's cool. She knows everything. I also have children. <laughs> okay. okay, Sydney and Briah. Okay. Tom Selleck made an appearance on the Friends reunion. What character did he play in the series? Monica's boyfriend, Phoebe's dad, or Rachel's first husband? 
I'm a friend's fanatic. <laughs> so you know it? Yeah, Monica's boyfriend. Oh, I yeah, love that. That is correct. Wow. Yeah. 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 Thank you, TBS. Okay. Steal that one. Okay. <laughs> Willie and Jenna. BTS broke the record for the biggest oh. premiere of a song on YouTube. What was the song called? Butter, spatula, or whipped cream? Butter. butter. Yes, butter See is how we hesitate. <laughs> my favorite food group. Butter. <laughs> I think it's 2 2 now. Isn't and it, it? Yes, I'm, just, I'm sorry. It hit uh, sure 10 million views in 13 minutes, yeah. which is amazing. Okay. Yes. Thank you for All keeping right. me honest. Okay, here we go. Sydney and Brian. The Isley Brothers recently came out with a song titled Friends and Family. Which of the following is not a song of theirs? Twist and Shout, It's Your Thing, or My Girl? I'm no idea. <laughs> it's Your Thing. No. It's My Girl, yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 We can't steal. It's too late. We used to be able to steal. Well, you know what? You forgot? I Ooh. forgot. I forgot. Okay. I'm we'll so sorry. That's okay, we'll Brother. steal My back Girl's here. The Temptations, FYI. Yeah. Okay. No, Willie no. and Jenna. Which famous Kardashian or Jenner is TikToker, what? Addison Rae, BFFs oh, with? Kim Kardashian, yeah, Kylie here. Jenner, yeah, or Kourtney BFF. Kardashian? The answer is quite easy, and it's C, Kourtney yes, Kardashian. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Three to two. You had that really, at the ready. <laughs> I knew it. Cindy and Brian, this person has won nine Grammy Awards and sold over 50 million albums. Can you name her? Wait, yo! The that's photo's up. <laughs> Can you name her? How could you not well, now I hope I'm right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Show across. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Could you name her? <laughs> yes, they can. Okay. Did you know Mariah? No, I didn't. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have another we question? Get a yes, one you guys more. get one okay. more. Okay, here we go. Last question. Wait, this could be the game winner. Okay. This family Ooh, has a... This is hard. This family has a new <laughs> reality show coming to Hulu. What is their last name? We don't get an A, B, or C choice? They didn't. Everyone knows this. See, this is the game. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I you need mean, a hint? Yes. Oh, we have hints? They're TikTok royalty. That might not help you much. <gasps> is that? You know? I know. <laughs> Let me think of it. Demelia. Yeah. Demelio. Oh, Demelio. Demelio. I think we have to give that a point. Well, that well, I didn't know that. They're I from know around that. where we live. Oh, the only amazing. reason I know. Yeah. We wow. won. Wow. Okay, that means. That feels good. You guys won. I'm in The hint put us over the top. Okay. The TikTok so thing. Well, you, you guys didn't need a hint. Sorry. 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 Okay, so the folks at Barnes & Noble are sending good. viewer Natalie Aquadro a $300 gift card. You. But don't worry, ladies. You guys are getting swag bags, and so is right. Sharon. Yeah. You'll yeah. be getting yeah. a card and yeah. a t-shirt and travel mug. Yeah. And Jenna, you and Willie get to share this this week. Oh, great. <laughs> May I? Shall we both put our money yeah, in the Yeah, I think we should. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Guys, if you or want to be Amelia. part of John and Rama, head to HodaAndJenna.com and hit the connect button. This is made for Hoda's head, I think. <laughs> Today Talks continues after the break. Joy Bowers here and shows Al and Dylan her latest creation for Super Food Friday. Oh, we love it because it's Superfood Friday. If you're looking for something tasty to whip up this weekend, we have got you covered. Today, nutritionist Joy Bauer uh, with a delicious meal that uses just six ingredients. Good morning, Joy. Morning. Hey, guys. I have something so special for your weekend menu, and it's sort of like a mix and eat situation. It comes together in five minutes and it is good it is saucy it's smoky i think you're really gonna love it and what i love about it is you gotta it's kind of a hack in that you just get a a, a supermarket rotisserie chicken and you go to town get us started okay so i'm calling it my chipotle pulled chicken in avocado boats and we're starting with the pulled chicken so here i have one and a half cups of shredded chicken you could use any leftover chicken that you have in the fridge but what i did was took the easy way out Picked up a rotisserie chicken. You take the skin off, and then just, just like that. using your hands, sometimes they do. Yeah, you're just gonna shred it up just mm -hmm. like this until you have a great big pile. So let me move this over. Now comes the easy part. I have jarred salsa. This oh. is just a half a cup, and you know you're the boss of your salsa. You can use mild, medium, spicy, whatever right. you prefer. And the nice part about the salsa is it does all the chopping for you. There's chopped peppers. There's mm -hmm. chopped onions in it. Here, this is sort of the star of the show. This is um, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. So I have two of them chopped up. And I want to mm -hmm. show you what they look like because you could buy them in the grocery store in jars. Oh. And you're going to take, see, look oh, at, see these I peppers? See. So these are dried are smoked jalapenos. Well, you know. 
not so spicy. It has a little bit of heat. So if you're sensitive to heat, I would start with one, mm -hmm. and um, then you could always add a second. I like but to add a third, truth be told. <laughs> It's so smoky and so tangy. And now what I do is add an extra teaspoon of the adobo sauce oh, right wow. inside. Mm -hmm. And this is where I said it's just a toss and mix. This is going to come together. Wow. And if you're looking for a creamier chicken salad consistency, it's also really nice to add two or three tablespoons of a light mayo or a Greek yogurt. Mm. It dilutes the, the flavor a little bit, mm. but it makes it super creamy. And then you might want to add an extra pepper in there <laughs> and a little bit more adobo sauce. But the, so the pepper here, has so much flavor that it's, I feel like it doesn't take much to go a long way. You are so right, Dylan. And now and here's I've the just, super food part. Okay, guys. We have an avocado packed with potassium, packed with fiber. I split it in half. I took out the pit. That and is you're a perfect just avocado. Going to it is a perfect no avocado. brown or anything. I got so lucky this morning. <laughs> I really did. You don't really know until you then, get into it. And what I like to do to take it over the top, let me get, I'm going to add a little bit oh. of extra adobo sauce. And I'm going to show you, I have some finish right mm -hmm. over here. Look at this. Wait. Oh, this looks so yummy. It It is so out of this world. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. And then I noticed and on the I, side there, you've got, if you have some extra, you, you've got something else you could do with it. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you a little bit of cilantro. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. I just love cilantro. I know Me some too. people are team cilantro, some not so much. I'm going to show you how to make a wrap now with it. So if you want to use that same, whoops. That same flavorful chipotle chicken, mm -hmm. you could then take the avocado. You see what I've done here? Another uh -huh. beautiful bright green one. I got super lucky. I'm going to smash it and spread it on a whole grain tortilla. Now I take my... Are hey, Joy, I love how... Who's pulling, pulling, who's pulling that stuff away? I love that. <laughs> you is know it, who it is. Is that Ian? <laughs> Ian Bowers in the house. <laughs> you know, when you guys um, put me back on the plaza last week and the week before, Ian thought he was retired. He, he uh, you know, <laughs> handed so in his NBC badge, and then suddenly <laughs> he was called back. <laughs> so now I'm going to roll this up. And... Oh, that is so easy. Wow, look at that. It could not be easier. I'm going to slice it up. Oh, that looks so So whether you have it. your boats or a wrap. There you go. Look at that. You are and ready to is. eat. Enjoy. That's a wrap for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Ian, Can just I pull just that out, quickly too. Say, oh, sure. I'm, go ahead. I'm going to say happy birthday to my hero, my heart, my dad, 83 Aww. years old. Aww. And I'm going to tell you, he is so fit. He still beats all my brothers on the basketball court. Swims wow, every day. Good for him. Wow. Are you slapped? I love you. birthday music. Look at that. Very quick. <laughs> Happy birthday. Nice. He's not 100, though. Okay, let's just make sure He's that's not 100, good. but he is on a mission to make it onto that Smucker's jar. All right. Thanks so much, Joy. Good to see you. And for more Bye, on guys. this recipe and so much more, go to today.com slash food. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.